Alright, what's going on YouTube? Today I decided to make a video about um, how I make beats, honestly. Just, you know, I love talking about music and uh, maybe I'll explain a thing or two. This is not uh, necessarily a, um, a beginner's tutorial, like there's a bunch of other um, videos that <laughs> do better explaining than me. I'll just do what I usually do and along the way you just can take away a thing or two from my um, process so you can implement it in your own productions. Yeah, I'll just go with the flow, see what sounds good. Let's go. Okay, so let's start with a melody. Um, I'll try to sound design something cool here. Let's see how we can spice it up. Okay. But yeah, let's just roll with this. You have to kind of add the things that you hear next immediately. Like I already hear a specific type of 808 here. Let me find it. Because sometimes the 808 is way too low for for it to have an effect, so you have to kind of play with the actors here. So let me add a compressor to this melody that we have here, because it's sounding harsh a bit. So reverb here. Now let's mix the 808 a bit better. So I want to gain. Um, here until this clip but uh, until this clip light turns on that gives it a bit of uh, distortion what if we go down and it sounds a bit too low so what i would sometimes try in this situation is um like let's do four semitones and now you know if we pitch everything up then uh, we can make this 808 fit more in the low frequencies. It's just kind of the vibe. Like let's let's pull up a snare here. Kind of want it to be shorter. That's good. Let's figure out a second layer here. That sounds smooth. See, this is something you you might use for an intro because it's a bit lower energy, you know. Here comes the hat. Let's quantize it. Let's mix it. There's a lot of harshness here, so let me compress this too. See, the doubler gives a lot of uh, effect to the hi hats. It's so effective. So, yeah, the so the thing with the hi hats is mainly two things for me: to not to overcomplicate it, and two, it should not sound harsh. I use overdrive and imager. I can really specify everything like the space and the volume and the frequency here. This is like a quick way to um, low cut, high cut something. It's way quicker than uh, using an EQ here. And it also has this drive knob and a tone knob. This combined with the imager um, really gives something its own place in the mix. So together it sounds like this. I feel like this hat could be a bit better here. Maybe transpose it down. Let me use this here to make the snare really pop. This is with and without. So it's a huge difference. All right, it's way too hot in here, man. Okay, so I uh, changed up the melody here. 
to this. Something simple, right? We might even send it to the reverb here. This will fry my CPU, but it's gonna be worth it. It's a melody on its own. This will add the bounds that we need here. Now again, it sounds out there, you know, so we will have to give it the place it deserves with the two plugins that I uh, mentioned earlier. Okay. Let's see if adding a chorus um, will make the sound a bit less harsh. Because there's all these effects that make it sound like it's on top of it instead of inside it. I like the sound, but... Yeah, this one. make a different hi-hat here. Best one. <laughs> is it me or is this bass not hitting correctly here? What the hell? What I like to do sometimes is just ignore the first part because we'll add a kick anyway. So. Again, send it to the doubler, like minus nine, make it wide. Also make it shorter. These lower notes could be a little lower. Like this, and here we will do a little bit faster, like that. So here comes the, the fun part, because we have kind of a melody here, right? Now, we can make it a sample, like, by resampling it, and then we can tweak the sample to make it even more interesting and uh and yeah it will be better so then we will make a new track and place the sample inside of it and again mute to original track what we have is like a playable thing right because it's a midi what i do is i slice it and to give it more of a bounce we can now just play it Adjust the fade in and fade out. Something is wrong with this 808. I don't know what it is, but it hits not at the right time. I don't know. Let me choose something else. So yeah, I was designing this 808 here. And uh, I wanted to show you this plugin here. It has this jitter knob. And it adds this jitter at the top end. Hey, yo, that's kind of nice. Let me add a bit of this. That's another way you can add top end to your 808, right? That's actually a better way even. That's some crazy EQing right there. More in there.
bring out the drums because they kind of now disappeared because of the bass. I don't have good saturation plugins, but I'll try to use what I have. Let's see if that made a difference here. Let's add another snare or a clap or some perks. So I will do that and uh, I'll show you guys what I came up with. Add some reverb to it. All right, so yeah, I kept it very simple. Uh, we have also this to play with, so you could add even more um, layering. So we can play the instruments that we sampled originally, introduce them back in a, in the melody, right? Those are essentially the same sounds. A great way to um, to expand your whole song make a new arrangement because you have these instruments ready to go you just have to keep in mind that you transpose it again because otherwise it would not be in the same key also what i like to do is place a hotkey on a on this mono knob here so i press this i play uh press m right and now i can listen to it in mono just by pressing the m key it's a quick way to like check the mono mix <laughs> So yeah, let me resample this real quick. The reason why I do this is I can see what sticks out. That's also good to know. You know? So I think that's my hi-hat or the snare. And now I will uh, finish it, add a little touch to it, arrange it and yeah, that's it. So yeah, that's it for the video. Um, I will continue this series. I'm just having fun with it. I'll post the beat in the on BeatStars. I'll put it in the description. You can go ahead and write to it, buy it. And um, yeah, that's it.